What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to manage saves in Elden Ring and the brand new DLC, Shadow of Erdtree, so you can manage your current saves, create backups and restore them, and of course, import backups from other players or for the internet, etc. So, first of all, where are the backups for Elden Ring located? Well, simply hold Start, which is the Windows key, and press R to bring up the Run dialog. Inside of here, type in Percentage, App Data, Percentage, and hit Enter. This will open up a folder, C, Users, Your username app data roaming inside of here you'll find a folder called elden ring inside of this you'll find your steam user id as well as a simple graphics config for the game which you can edit with something like notepad and inside of this folder you'll have just your save games as such so the sl2 file here is your actual save game file with your current progression in it, your different characters, etc. What you want to do is back this up to your desktop, and in case you want to roll back to it in the future, you can just move it back in here. That's cool, but that's a super basic implementation of backing up and restoring your current progression. There's a much better way to do so using a manager. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the Elden Ring Character Manager. This is a Nexus Mods page, so you will need a Nexus Mods account in order to download it, but just click the manual button in the top right, then slow download once you've signed in. Then, once the download is complete, open up the zip file and you'll find a program inside of it. Drag this into your save game folder for your current user ID. So once again, percentage app data, percentage slash Elden Ring, or C uses your username app data roaming Elden Ring followed by your Steam ID. When we run this program, you'll see that it loads your save file and it should display on the right hand side all of your different save games. So, essentially there are two different folders. The left is your backup or cache folder and the right is your active folder. Everything that's on the right side will be accessible in game. So, you can already see that I have a save game here. If you want to back it up, click the copy button to the left and just like that, we have the live game folder on the right and our backup on the left. If we play, we'll only be modifying this one. In the future, we can move or copy our backed up save game back into here and you'll see that our progress is reset. Should you want to download a save game off the internet, how do you import it? Well, it's pretty simple. If I download, say, this save game here, which is a 100% save file, manual download, and we'll download the, let's see, level 150, slow download, you'll see that in the zip file that we get will usually be an SL2 file. This is the same save game as we have in our save game folder here. Obviously, you don't want to override your current save game or you'll lose everything. Make a new folder here, I'll just call it new, and inside of here, we'll drag and drop the SL2 file that we just downloaded, the save game off the internet. In order to import a character from that brand new save file, we'll need to choose the right hand side over here, load, and we'll tell it to load from a specific file. So new, followed by our downloaded save file here. Open, and now you can see a name of a character here. We'll copy it to the left side as such, and now we have two different characters backed up in our cache folder or archive folder. Now we'll need to load our actual save file, so load, then we'll head back and select our normal actual save file. Click open, and now, just like that, we can copy this player file from the left to the right, and now it's accessible in-game. That's it. It's that simple. Just make sure to click save file on the left to save your archive file and click save file on the right to save your active game file. That's it. Now when you start the game up, you'll see both of these characters in game and you'll be able to continue playing from either. So if I fire up Elden Ring Shadow of Erdtree, you'll see that when we click load game, we can choose from either of the save files here. That's it. If you choose to manually overwrite the save file with one that you download off of the internet, instead of using a program like this, you'll likely see that it doesn't work. You get errors. That's mostly because your Steam ID doesn't match or something like that. This is the easiest way to manage your save games and your characters specifically, and it's a great way of doing so. Anyways, that's really it. Hopefully this video helped you. Thank you all for watching, and a special thank you to my first Ultimate supporter, Superior Emerald. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.